drop a skincare routine. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop you the skincare routine scientifically. Scientifically. Don't okay. do anything. Just have good skin. No. What? That's not scientific. It is for some people. No. For one, let me start by saying that. What are you doing? Oh. Neither of us looks as good without the lights. See? I look like the same. Yeah, okay. But I don't. Hmm? I'm I'm not wearing makeup. I'm wearing fake eyelashes. I'm not wearing makeup at all. Like you can see, it's not. It's like it's good enough. But hey, mm -hmm. so much better. So much better. Okay. <laughs> this is a prelude to OnlyFans, and now skincare routine. All right. Here's what you need to do. You need to use... Have skin. Sure. You need to drink a lot of water. <laughs> or walk with a flashlight, yes. <laughs> Sleep decently. And then when it comes to actual, like, creams and stuff, exfoliate. Exfoliate. Would you like to explain what exfoliating means? Because I'd like to point out the first time I heard the word, I thought it had something to do with the toilet. <laughs> exfoliate is a bunch of stuff that generally helps your skin uh, shed dead cells or renew faster. All right. And like, if you look for an exfoliant, you can get from like very mild ones to way more like abrasive ones. You need to find what's good for your skin. So exfoliate. That's one thing. What if Second you just get like a giant pencil sharpener and stick your head in and then rotate? <laughs> Second thing is if you care about not aging, use retinol in any form that your skin can tolerate. What's retinol? Retinol is a substance that again helps skin renewal. It works wonders. Is it made from the retinas of baby bunnies and kittens? Mm-hmm. Nice. The problem with retinol is that your skin gets very sensitive to sun and will get there. Another step is also moisturize. Okay. And the last step whether you use retinol, it's even more important, but even when you don't use retinol, is use sunscreen, face sunscreen. Okay? Sunscreen. All okay. the time. I make him use sunscreen. Even when there isn't a lot of sun outside, even when it's cloudy, even when it's rainy, you still need to use sunscreen. That's all. The individual products of these steps could be anything. It doesn't matter. Find whatever works well for you. Find whatever works well for your budget because there are even cheap <sighs> products that do the same thing. If you don't want to like splurge, find whatever you want to do. But if you actually want good skincare, and that goes for men too, um, you follow these steps. Okay? That's it. For him, so. I... <laughs> I, I have really tried and I have gotten him to use the exfoliant part by using a lotion on his face twice a day. And then I have, I have gotten him to use the moisturized part once a day before sleep. No, I, it's at the start of the day. Oh, you use the start? Yeah, I don't need moisturizer when I go to sleep. So that's what he does. Two things out of the four. I don't expect him to use retinol because, yeah, I mean, he already has the Gordon Ramsay look, so it doesn't even matter. And I what make a handsome him... man that is. I mean, let's I mean we realize. don't usually go out of the house for too long, but when we do One go thing to aspire to, out you know? of the house for long, we, um, I make him use sunscreen too. 
you miss the sunscreen tips? Well, the VOD is gonna be there. You can rewind and watch it. Basically, you have to it's get foliated. sunscreen and drop it in your coffee every morning. <laughs> it, you get those nutrients you're every still, day. You're still in the have skin. Can you start over, people G? Yes. <laughs> Does exfoliating help with past acne skin? Absolutely. My skin, I had terrible, terrible, well, not scars, discolorations from acne. Any advice for oily skins? I mean, my skin is pretty oily. Like, honestly, like these are the steps that you need to, to, to like that your skin needs to stay decent. You don't need to do these steps, you know, every day, twice a day, as I said, but it's like, I don't know, you need to find products that work for you. Give us the oily skin tips, Crib. And like... Just have oily skin. All right. And jokes aside, these are actually like like scientific you won't get better tips than that from actual scientists like i've been when i went to the plastic surgeon to get like the um i had a mole here and it was really annoying because it was getting itchy and stuff and it was like cosmetic too but it was also getting itchy and painful at times so i went and removed it and like i'm like okay i have a face plastic surgeon i should ask him and get advice he literally explained to me exactly the same steps that I already knew. Um, and it's what I just shared with you. You owe me 500 bucks. <laughs> All right. Wait, that advice cost 500 bucks? Well, no, this thing cost like oh, okay. 800 or something. But anyway, like jokes aside, this is the, um, like a good skincare routine if you find individual products that work for you. How many layers of skin to remove? One, two, or three for foods? <laughs> and yes, then of course it's like, sure, drink water, eat good stuff, sleep well. That's a whole different story. Yeah, just like don't be stressed. Uh, sleep 10 hours a day and uh, don't have a fast-paced lifestyle and eat only uh, totally ripe uh, fruits and vegetables and uh, try to get some uh, time in the sun, but not too much, you know, just a, just a little bit yes, in, in the, in the, in the rest of the day that you have left. People G, are you, are you taking notes because that's going to be on the test? Yeah. And uh, try to get some designer creams. Uh, if they're not designer, just uh, feed them to your dog. Um, <laughs> yes, and you should have pretty good skin after a few years of that. <laughs> people G, people G, good test. Yes, there is going to be a test, absolutely. Yes, don't get stressed in 2020. Challenge accepted. Give the dog, if not designer, people G. <laughs> no, no notes. It's just going to use phone to Google answers in class. <gasps> Cheater. <laughs> Let's do a shot. Get another beer. Drink it slowly. Another beer. Drink it very slowly. I'll be honest, my, my tooth is hurting. The whole side of my mouth is not feeling good. Oh, uh, and it's a, uh, I on. having like uh, cold liquids, I think is triggering it right now. So get the warm beer, like pee. Get the beer out. To <laughs> How am I supposed to do that? All our beer is in fridges. Am I supposed to put a beer in the oven? Do we have beers in the basement? As you enter the basement to the left, we have uh, two six packs from stuff. <laughs> See, you can't win if you if you're talking about stuff that's in the house. And you're what we have right. In the house. But then I realized I don't want to drink warm beer. Oh, right. <laughs> Checkmate. Fair enough. I don't have an answer to that. Yeah, I want to drink cold beer that's not cold. Mm. Fix, fix, please. Mm. Come on, it's twenty fucking twenty one almost. Why can't we have cold beer that's not cold? God, come on, scientists. No, we don't have a microwave. What have you been doing lately? Coming up with COVID vaccines? Please, let's tackle the real issues. 